welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be talking about the Canon Image ProGraph 300, Pro 300. I love this printer. It's been a really good printer. I bought it last year, 2020, back in August when it first came out and I've been loving it. Now, if you're somebody that uses a lot of ink to do their prints, you might want to go for the bigger model, but I kind of use this for a lot of home use. Some for my business, I don't have to use it a whole lot, but the ink seems to go a really far away. But we're, what we're going to do with this is I'm going to show you some of the features and I'm really curious about the ink. Right now, my printer is saying it needs an ink change. So right now, my photo black um, cartridge is out of ink. So what we're gonna do is I plan on opening up the cartridge and seeing, is it empty? <laughs> I'm really curious to see how much ink is really left in that because you can push any button on this thing and you can't override it. It's making you change the cartridge. So I shake the cartridges it doesn't sound like there's any ink left in it, but I'm really curious just to see what's in there. <laughs> so let's get started, guys. Okay, so right now, I'm just gonna open this up because this is really nice how this, it gives you all this for the long paper, it feeds out. So that's, that's really nice. Sometimes I'll pull it out to here, sometimes I'll just leave it like that. And it's also got the CD. And I'm actually, during this video, um, I'm going to take and print a CD for you so you can see how the quality is when it prints on CD. I am going to print out on a sticker sheet because there's um, some stickers that I've been wanting to make. And so I got those all designed. So we're gonna be printing those out so you can see the quality. And I actually did a print quality in another video that I did where I show how to make stickers. And I'll link that video down below. So right now we're gonna change out this ink cartridge first because I can't print anything if I don't have ink. So what you're gonna do to change, and this is so, super simple open it up and then it's going to give you uh the cover is open replace you're going to press the the red button so down here you're going to press it and then you're going to hit okay because once you do this you're going to want to change your cartridge right away and while this is happening if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel like give the subscribe button a little tappy tap if you feel so inclined okay guys now it's ready for us to change out the black photo cartridge so what we're going to do is we're going to remove this little puppy super easy to change and we We're gonna find out if there's actually any ink left in this because my Epson, there you could shake it and you could hear ink inside of it. But if Canon's actually letting us use all the ink, that's super amazing. To me, it doesn't look like there's any ink in here. Like you can see the little ink blobbies and stuff. I'm really curious. So we're popping the new cartridge in. Stick it in just like that. Close the cover. Changing the ink is super simple. So I'm really interested. We're going to cut this open, see how much ink is inside of it. I'm going to try not to cut myself. If I have to, I'm going to saw it in half. I don't know. Oh, I already got ink on myself. Oh, no. <laughs> so hopefully there's no ink in here so I don't end up with ink all over myself. How am I gonna get this open? Don't know. Let's figure it out. Okay. I wanna need a saw. Choose your weapon. <laughs> saw and screwdriver. Well, flathead. 
let's do that. Okay, let's, uh, I'm not doing that inside my room, so we're gonna go somewhere else. All right, there is no method to this madness that I am about to do, so we are going to try to keep from using the sharp bits. <laughs> And we're going to attempt to pry it open first without slinging ink everywhere. If there is any in here, I'm just going to pop it. Oh. Wow, guys, that's not bad at all. All right, guys, that was pretty cool. So Canon gets five stars for that. <laughs> that was pretty amazing. And the nice thing about this Canon printer is unlike my Epson <laughs> that streaks the pictures and the nozzles get clogged and everything, this does not get clogged. The pictures print amazing every time. So the fact that it uses up every bit of ink and lets you know, hey, change me because there's nothing else in me, that's pretty cool. Now with Epson, I was wasting so much ink because it's to where you cannot use all the ink in that cartridge. It makes you throw it out such a waste. That's pretty amazing. So now, we're gonna go to the CD portion of this video. All right, if you go into the Canon Easy Photo Print Editor, it's got all these different options. You can do cards, you can do business cards, scrapbook stuff, stickers, discs. That's where we're gonna go. But when I first was using this program, it's really complicated. <laughs> Or I thought that it was really complicated, but then you've got all your options. You've got your text stamps images templates everything here Now once you finish making your disc if you hit save Which is when you hit next and then you can save it and do all that when you hit save it doesn't tell you where it saved <laughs> So I was really frustrated at the program. I had no idea where it went at all. So I didn't know how to get, like, to, I didn't know how to retrieve my discs that I had designed. So I'm going to show you with this program so no one else is really frustrated with this in case you want to do this. Okay, I'm going to go back. Okay, so we're on the, f this front page, this is on the home screen of the Canon Easy Photo Print Editor you're going to go to your items. And if you go to your items, this is where everything is saved in the program. <laughs> I was really disappointed with this program because it will not work with my Mac. For some reason, Canon did not make this program to work with the Mac. I can design on a Windows, I can design on my iPad, but I cannot use it with my iMac. So just so you know, this software that Canon has set up, they did not make it to work with a Mac. So I'm on my Windows computer, my old one, to show you how this prints. So we're going to print the, the CD that I created. Um, and we're going to go to edit. Okay, we hit next and standard and high quality. I've printed both of these. I could not tell a difference. So I'm just gonna keep it on standard. No need to use any more ink than I need to. And we're good. And we're gonna just print one copy. <laughs> so the really cool thing about this printer is the tray for the CD stores right under here, right out of the way. My Epson didn't have any storage like that. So you're going to need this. 
and we're going to place the disc. You're gonna pull back on that and you're just gonna lay it in there, okay? So it's all snapped in. All right, so I hit print and sent the project to the Canon printer to be printed. And what you wanna do is once this comes up, you want to lower this tray. Don't lower it before this comes on. So once this is on the screen, lower this, and then you're gonna take and put your tray into the slot. So you're gonna slide it in until it's just firm. Okay, so you'll, you'll feel that you can't shove it in any anymore. So then we're just gonna hit okay. And it's just gonna feed itself into the printer and it's going to print a beautiful CD. And while that's printing, if we come up here to the display, you can see all your different colors and your ink level so you know when you're getting low on a color. It's the colors aren't gonna come up very good on the screen. But I've been waiting on the big 10 pack of ink. I ordered it last August when it was on back order. It's been on back order since it launched and it's March 19th, March 19th and 2021. yeah, 2021 and I have still not received the ink. <laughs> still on back order. I have been able to find the individual inks for it, which is costing me more money. So that is kind of a disappointment. Um, I give Canon zero stars for that <laughs> because you're going to save money if you can buy the large 10 pack of ink all at one time. If you have to buy them individual, you are going to spend more money. So I am not very happy with Canon because of that. So just to let you all know, they have not come out with the big packs of ink. I've had mine ordered through Canon since last August of 2020. So that's my two cents on that. <laughs> Look how beautiful, guys. That to me is just so gorgeous. So five stars for the print quality on the CDs. Okay guys, the next test that I wanna do is on the sticker paper, just so you can see the print quality. Mm -hmm. This is the first time that I am printing out this design of these stickers that I made just a couple days ago because I wanted to change the ink in this printer and bust open that cartridge and see how much ink was left in that. So now that I've got my ink all replaced and everything, I can print out my stickers. So I'm excited to see how those turn out. <laughs> Interested in the sticker paper that I'm using right here. It's a glossy sticker paper. I did another video on my channel that talks about uh, how I print my stickers. So if you wanna know what kind of sticker paper that I use, go check that video out and I'll link it in the description below. When you're getting ready to print, always make sure this little flap is down or you'll get an error, a little thing pop up on here whenever you go to print and that's what it's telling you to put this thing down. So just before you go to do your print job, keep this down. Okay guys, so this is the stickers that I wanna print out. So we're gonna go to the print button and this is on my iPad, <laughs> my iPad Pro. <laughs> and we are going to go to print with the Canon 
and I'm gonna make sure that this is all set up correctly. So I need to adjust my paper size. It's just the regular letter size. I'm gonna do one copy and I'm going to change my media type and I'm gonna change that to photo paper plus glossy because I am printing on a glossy sticker paper. So everything looks good. We're gonna go back shows you and this is borderless too and now we're just gonna hit print and see what quality we get guys these turned out so cute i'm really impressed always with the quality of the print from this printer i've been really happy so far with everything that i've printed off so i hope this is helpful for anyone that's thinking about buying this printer but like I said before if you're printing a lot of print jobs photographs whatever go for one of the printers that has the larger inks this is fine for what I do and I absolutely love it the Canon brand is really nice and I'm really happy with it so all I have to do now is just put these in my scan and cut and cut them out Hey guys, if you found this video helpful in any way and you got some information really helpful that's going to make you decide whether to get this printer or not, put a little tappy tap on that subscribe button. I would sure appreciate it. And until next time, share some love on my page, watch my other videos, and just cruise my channel. And I'll catch you later in the next video, guys. Bye!